Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jenny. Today's video is going to be a three looks one palette. The palette that I'm going to be using is one that's relatively new to me and it is the Profusion Wanderlust palette. This palette is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I just stuck my finger in a shade. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a lot of really fun colors. I've used this a handful of times. Every time I've used this, I've come out with a really good look. So I wanted to go ahead and show you three different looks using this palette. So let's go ahead and jump into look number one. To start, I'm going to go in with the shade Tranquil and I'm going to use this to set the eyelids kind of as a base. This is a more um, like satin kind of shade, but it still works really nice as a base. Taking a fluffy brush and going into the shade Go Girl, I'm going to use this in the outer V and up into the crease. Taking that same brush and going into the shade Retro, I'm going to kind of do the same thing but focus it a little lower than the pink shade. Any ideas? Taking a smaller blending brush and going into the shade Regal, right? Yeah, Regal. I'm going to take this on the outer V and then taking it right into the actual crease of my eye. With that same small brush going into the shade Enigma, tapping off most of the excess, I'm then going to run this right into the outer V and take it into the actual crease as well. Now I'm going to take just a tiny bit of the NYX glitter glue and I'm going to rub that on the inner portion of the eyelid. But for the record, I really, really like the way that these mattes look together right now. I kind of almost don't want to put shimmer down. So now just taking my finger, I'm going to go into the shade Nimbus. It's really pretty purple and I'm going to just pat it on top of the glitter glue. Going into the shade Gravity now, which is this really cool, like pinky purple duochrome. I'm going to pat that right on top of the more like the and inner part of the eye. I'm not going to take it all the way out here. So, this is the top portion of the eye look. I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara and some falsies, and we'll be right back to finish the lower lash line. So, I went ahead and added some waterline liner as well as some lashes. And so now we're going to finish up the eye look and to start I'm going to go in with this little like smudgy brush and I'm going to go into the shade Go Girl and run this all over the lower lash line. With that same brush I'm going to go into the shade Retro and do the same thing but I'm going to stop about halfway through the lower lash line. Now I'm going to go into a little bit of Regal and just a smidge of Enigma. I'm going to run this on the outer corner of the lower lash line. Now I'm going to go into the shade Illusion with just a little tiny bit of, what is that, frosting. And I'm going to dab that on the inner corners. So here is the final completed look. I really love how this eye look turned out. It is very bold, very pink, and I really, really love the way that this turned out. Let's move on to look number two. Hello, and welcome to look number two. 
So to start, I have already primed my eyelids with some concealer and I'm going to go into the shade Tranquil just to set that concealer down and kind of brighten the base. Now going into the shades Coast and Statement, I'm going to put these into the crease in the outer V. I really kind of want to pull this shade up close to the brow bone and blow these out. With that same fluffy brush, I'm gonna go into the bit of the shade Nostalgia and just run this on the very outer portion, but I do wanna pull it up into the crease as well. Taking my finger going into the shade Jade, I'm going to tap this on the very outer corners of the eyelid and slightly up into the crease. Now going into the shade Hypnotic with my finger, I'm going to put this on the inner, like, or not the inner, the center of my lid. Kind of going into the inner corner of the lid. And now with my finger, I'm going to go into the shade Majesty and put it on the inner corners of the eyes. This shade is gorgeous. Now going back in with a little bit of nostalgia, I'm going to kind of start yeah, to deepen is. this outer corner up a little bit more. Going back in with just a little bit of the jade shade, I'm gonna pack that right on top. So this is all for the top eyeshadow look. I am gonna go ahead and put on my base and everything and we'll be right back to finish the lower lash line. So I went ahead and finished my face. I added some false lashes and some lipstick and now we're going to finish up the lower lash line. With a kind of pointed pencil brush, I'm going to go into the first two browns. Uh, what are those? Coast and Statement. And I'm going to run these all along the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Jade and put this on the outer corner. Now going into the shade Chill, I'm going to put this on my inner corner. So this is now the completed eye look. I'll zoom you in real quick so you can see it up close. Let's go ahead and jump into the final look. Hello and welcome to the third and final look. I have already done my eyebrows and I have put on some concealer as base and set it with a white eyeshadow so I had a lighter base. And so to start with a fluffy brush, I'm going to go into the shade Enigma. And I'm just gonna start with by putting this in the outer V and up into the crease, but eventually I'm going to put it all over the lid as well. I'm kind of placing this shadow in a more rounded kind of look because I've been kind of doing some like blown out looks um, but I want to do more of a halo looking eye with this look any ideas Going back into Enigma with my finger, I am then going to just kind of lightly pat it all over the eyelid. So taking a little angled brush and a little bit of the shade Enigma, I'm going to kind of just get that into the corners of the eyes and the harder to reach areas, and then I'm just going to kind of blend it back up into the crease. So 
going in with that little angle brush again and going into the shades retro and regal just a little bit i'm going to take these on the outer and inner corners of the eyes to darken them up Going into the shade Splash with my finger, I'm just going to take this shade and pat it all over the lid, focusing it on the center though. So now I'm going to take a tiny bit of the shade Stormy, and I'm going to do the same thing. It just adds a little bit more dimension to this look all over the lid with that shade. Any ideas? So now I'm going to go back into that shade Enigma and mix it with those purples and just deepen those outer and inner corners again. And finally, I'm going to go into the shade Frosting and pat that right on the center of the eyelid, lining it up with my actual pupils. This shade is a bit chunkier than the rest. I'm gonna take a little kind of packing brush back into that frosting shade, and I'm gonna kind of blend the edges out so it leaves a little more of a seamless shimmer transition. So this is the top portion of the eyeshadow. I am going to clean it up, finish the rest of my face, throw on some lashes, and I will be right back to finish the lower lash line. So I did go ahead and throw on some lashes and a little bit of liner, and I put a light blue liner on the waterline. So to finish this look up, I am going to go into that little angled brush we used earlier and Enigma to start. And I'm gonna run this all over the lower lash line. I am going to take just a little bit of the little purple shades here and kind of blend that in to the outer portion. Taking that pencil brush, I clean most of the product off. I am then going to go into the shade, what do I want to use? The shade Illusion, which is the white shimmer, and I'm going to put this on the yeah, inner corners. I'm gonna take a little bit of that illusion shade and just kind of lightly dot that right on top of what was that shade frosting. So now that I have popped on some lower lash mascara and a lip gloss, this is the final look for this three looks one palette video. So those have been my three looks one palette using the Pro Fusion Wanderlust palette as a whole. I think this is an awesome, awesome palette that you can get at Walmart, the drugstore, wherever Pro Fusion is located for you. I've really been enjoying this palette. I think that the colors in this palette are absolutely beautiful. As you can tell from this video, you can get many looks from this palette. I've definitely been loving this palette. And I will have it linked down below for you in case you're interested in checking it out. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe, please feel free. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.